Hello, dorks. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. It's Unchowder. Uh, it's time for Dwarf Fortress. It's time to continue our our project, our 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 Metropolis run. Um, I'm excited. I've been I've been reading a lot of a wiki. <laughs> the Dwarf Fortress wiki has been uh, open since since I last streamed. Um, that's probably accurate. Um, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna uh, we're 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 in stream number two of this uh, Metro Percent run that I'm attempting. Um, run makes it sound like some official thing. I'm just, we're trying to get to Metropolis as fast as possible. And our metric is the in-game calendar, not a real-time clock. That's all you gotta know. Today's episode is sponsored by the beach. You should go before it gets too cold. I, some people are complaining about clouds and stuff, but I, I love it. If you want the beach, go, just go see the beach. Um, Unless you're on, like, the other side of the planet, in which case it's almost beach season, so hooray that also, I guess. One of those two things is probably accurate for you. Um, at any rate, uh, we're just gonna... we're gonna get into it. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I have a lot of thoughts in my brain, but uh, we'll kind of go over them as, as they come up. Uh, the main thing that you will see is that I've done a lot of blueprinting. Some might say too much blueprinting. I have blueprinted basically the entire fortress at this point. Um, and not, not just like the fortress, but like more than we will actually be making in practice, I'm pretty sure. Um, like I was, I found myself blueprinting for like a full set of guild halls and a whole bunch of temples. And I was like, I'm not gonna dig these. I'm not gonna make these unless like we are really hurting for for stone or something like we're really just looking to dig stuff um which might happen but you'll see it's all designated um you'll also see i'm still not running df hack so i i designated places for our permanent courtyard walls uh but i did so with stairs because you can't because you can't blueprint constructions you can only blueprint digging um so that's just a placeholder for where walls are gonna go and then you'll see a little ramp here and that's gonna be our caravan entrance and it's just gonna go right down in here um and then yeah we have a whole bunch of stuff planned for the fortress proper um this is gonna be uh stockpile workshops stockpile um, these are the, the temples, these are guild halls, this is hospital, this is library. Hospital will happen. Library probably won't happen. Um, these are all bedrooms. I got fancy with my bedrooms. Um, these are uh, tombs. This is a, a vault for our uh, inevitable artifacts. Hopefully we make some artifacts that would be very helpful for us. Um, and then some, some water constructions for our waterways. Um, which is probably going to be one of the first things we do here. I do, we do want to get waterfalls going. We do have quite a few grumpy faces in our fortress. And I don't want to be dealing with... Uh, tantrums and stuff. Uh, that's not something I want to be spending... Like, this is a... We're going fast. And tantrums are not fast. Justice is not fast. So putting a dwarf in a cage because they were grumpy. Is not fast, uh, so we're gonna, tr gonna we're gonna try saturating our happiness with waterfalls, and not have any unhappy thoughts, and see where that gets us. Um, well, that's probably gonna be like the main first thing. Primary difference between what we're gonna do right now in this fortress and how we did the same thing in our previous fortress. Uh, previously, it was a closed loop waterfall system, right? There's a little reservoir at the bottom and a little pump stack powered by windmills, and the water just kind of circulates through our waterfalls, which is cool and all. Um, but we can do it faster. We can do it faster if we don't care about making a mess. So instead of a pump stack and a closed loop recirculating water system, I'm going to do what I used to do in like my older fortresses, or even I think we even did it in, in Elder Ring. Um, where I'm just going to divert the river up on top and just going to run it through our fortress. Um, it's going to be this right here. So uh, our, our brook is right here. 
I'm gonna breach it so that it falls down and goes down through here and is gonna flow through here. And then here is just gonna enter our waterfalls and go down, go down all of our waterfalls through our central spiral situation here. And then it's just gonna drain out into the caves. So no, no recirculating. It's just gonna be, we're, we're essentially dumping the river into the cave and making waterfalls as it does so. Um, and then that will also give us space up here. Where at? Right here. Um, so we can make some water wheels on our diverted river uh, if and when we want to. I don't know what our big power draws are going to be. I don't want to get stuck into making too many complicated machinery type things. Uh, but we will probably want to be making like millstones for our kitchen. So we can power those with water wheels right here. Easy peasy. Don't have to mess with windmills. Water wheels are much more efficient as far as power generation goes. Um, and we'll see if our... I mean, we're in early winter and we haven't frozen yet, so we'll see if we get an actual freeze here. Uh, but it's it's already been thawed for a lot longer than, than in face Earths, so... I think that's going to be what happens. Um... So yeah, I also took a bunch of notes and made myself a little reference document with a whole with in like a, a spreadsheet. And so I might reference it from time to time, but it's also very preliminary um, and it's already different from what we've already done. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, that exists. Um, but in the immediate sense, I think what's going to happen and see, like I built floodgates here. Probably not needed. I was I was debating like flooding in here to try and make farms and pasture and stuff, but like I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I decided that was silly. So I think all we're gonna do here. I'm actually just gonna disassemble these, and these are gonna turn into uh, into walls once we're done. But then I'm gonna say turn these into real digging designations. We won't dig this. This will be the last thing we do that actually opens up the river. We're going to dig that and we're going to dig this. And dig all this. Basically, we're just going to take everything that has to do with our waterfalls and tell them to dig it. They can dig it. And I think... Everything on these levels is already set. Um, we're gonna have to make some lower grades. Oh, and this, this was, okay. I had a fun thought about this. Um, so this is our dining hall. And then I was building like a tomb over here in a frantic panic. And then I realized that with our waterfalls here that it was, uh, I, I messed up in our placement, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna salvage that into, um, something cool. Um, we are going to have waterfalls here, and then this whole square here is going to be our dining hall, and the entrance of the dining hall is going to be through the waterfall. How about that? I think that's what we're going to do, and then we'll close off those once that's done. Um, so that'll happen. Um, and then all of this is for water. Right? Then I'm going to want to do this stuff as well. And part of part of what I'm doing here is setting up an entrance and a well next to our cave as well. We'll see if that ends up being necessary. I'm thinking we have we have all this cave moss <laughs> that's growing in this corner specifically of our cave for whatever reason. Everything else is mud. Everything else is mud. Um, but we could use this for pasture and or farming. If we want to. Uh, so I'm I'm incorporating in, you know, a future entrance into the caves uh, here. And then we're going to have a little well cistern here. Um, here's the, the actual cisterny part, right? Um, and this will make more sense once it's all made. Yeah, so that all works. And then I want to dig these. These are for our wells as well. Um, 
and that's as far up as it's going to go. We're going to have a well next to our hospital. We're going to have a well in our dining hall. I'm just going to do it like this for the moment. And then... And then what? And then they can get up from there. Yeah, okay. So that should... I think this will work. We'll see what mistakes I've made in all these plans uh, as they dig it all. But, you know, that's how it goes. Um, and this is all set at four. That's probably fine. And I think I have some digging designations like way deep down below as well. Um, so they might do that first. But at any rate, I'm going to unpause. And we're going to see what happens. Um, we have emus. Um, oh yeah, and I want to, I kind of want to catch the emus. Um, you're all just grabbing wood, that's good. And then our, our wood is going to end up down here. Yeah, let's, I'm actually going to get rid of our surface wood stockpile. And it's all just going to come down in here. And that's a little more, a little more secure, I think. Um, and in theory, we are making blocks. Now oh, we got step ladders and wheelbarrows. That's good, at least. Ooh, faint yellow diamonds. Very good. Um, interrupted by emu. Excellent. And people are hunting. They were a second ago. Uh, fighting is happening. Okay, who's the emu wretches? Killing emus over here. So I do want this this hunting to happen, and you're just gonna bash it now, aren't you? Because you're out of ammo. Oh, you got it. Okay. Cool. You're not injured or anything, right? No, you're fine. Okay. Um, that's mostly gonna amount to experience for for our hunters there, which I am in favor of. Um, but emus would actually make decent pets. I'm hoping that we can actually catch a couple of them. Ideally, we would like catch animals and train them and make them pets? One one question I have in my mind uh, about how about how that works is like pets have a value. There's there's like emus are worth a hundred as a pet as opposed to like twenty or thirty for a dog. Um, and badgers were similar. Badgers were like a little bit better than dogs, but emus are like double. Uh, something something like that. Um, but that's their value as a pet. And I don't know if pet value applies to, like, created wealth. I don't know that that's... I don't know that that's a thing. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're worth more as pets than they would be as... Uh, butchered materials. Because, like, as um, an emu is not exotic enough to have more than the standard uh, material value. So I, th I think they would make decent pets, but uh, for now we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just telling them to hunt everything. Because um, that'll, that'll start building up our bone stockpile, we'll start building up a food stockpile, and that's all good stuff. Um, you're all, you're all going for it. And... A bunch of storing is happening, yeah. So we're still catching up on all of our hauling. Yeah, look at all this. So I'm trying not to give them too many jobs because we're a little backlogged on hauling and junk. Uh, but in theory, oh, and our miners. Yeah, I want you mining and nothing else. I'm even going to say all three of you. We're going to have so much mining to do. Um, we, you just need to focus on mining. Oh, yep, see that happened. Okay. So... That's open space, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and then... Okay, there they go. They're digging. They're digging. I mean, in theory, we have, like, floor grates? We have floodgates. We don't have floor gates. Floor grates. 
or great yeah great make it great yeah okay um and i'm gonna say this one repeats because we're gonna need quite a few of them uh that should be fine then we'll just do five at a time all good there and the digging is happening hello 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 how's it going we are digging digging all the things Um, yeah, that's, that's mostly what's happening. Uh, and I did, I designated some digging down here, because I do, I am kind of curious where, you know, the rest of our caves and magma is, but, I don't know, only so curious. We did go, we went quite a ways down here, didn't we? And all of this is still... Okay, I'm gonna give this like a five priority. Nope, not like that. Digging a magma channel for my forge is very nice, very nice. I'm kind of going for speed here, so I don't know. I'm debating how magma is gonna play into this fortress's lifeline, uh, essentially. Uh, because obviously magma is fast when you have it. Magma makes, you know, like, uh, you know, like ceramic and, and glass stuff go really, really good, nice. But if it's going to take us that long to get magma set up, then I don't know. Like if we have enough fuel between the coal and the trees that we can just not do magma. Is that, is it faster? Would it be faster? I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm 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 tempted to try a just no magma attempt. Uh, I had a magma tube go up my third cave layer, very very nice. Um, our first fortress um, in Elder Ring had a magma tube in the second cave, and that was huge. That was so so cool. Um, I ended up building the entire permanent fortress uh, between cave one and cave two, and then. Uh, just built our forges basically inside that portion of the cave. So it was even like a corner of the cave. I just, I walled off one corner of cave number two and then called that fortress and, and built our forges, um, you know, like on the level right beneath. And it was it basically inside the fortress. It was so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of... I, I, I want to reveal... Oh, we did freeze. We do have a freeze. Early winter. Make note of that. Um, good to know. Uh, so that means our waterfalls won't be going year-round, but we could also we could also fill like a reservoir kind of a deal, like we did with the last one. You're all running around in a panic. Are you okay? Fired. Uh, wear nothing but socks and gloves. Uh, that also reminds me of getting people clothed. Damp stone. Oh, sure. Oh, because there's going to be a reservoir in here, because of course there is. Okay. Let's... So we got some digging done. Need to get into the cave layers next. Need fungal wood because I'm in a desert and I've been relying on cacti and imports until now. Very nice. Cacti give wood. Is that how that works? Yeah, I imagine there's really not that much of it, right? Um, okay, so then this is gonna go down. That's good. And then this is our little cistern for well number one. So that looks fine. And then it's gonna overflow down into here and it's going to fill this cistern. That isn't even cistern. This is just, okay. This is fine. Then they're working on digging. Or no, they're not. Of course, because this is all aquifer, digging in aquifer is always so pleasant. But luckily this is going to be a drain anyway. I'll just do like this. Uh, click. Okay. Channel. And like 
like this. Yeah. And then... Yes. I should be able to get back in there. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and then we'll probably even do like a drain. Can I just drain into the well and then use that drain? I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll just drain from here as well if we need to. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna make sure everyone's doing something. We're, we're still making things, we're still moving things. That's all good. Okay, and then yeah, you cancel that because, oh no, the well is wet. My goodness. Hopefully they can figure that out. And then all of this, all of this is gonna cancel, oh my god. Why did I come to an aquifer? I figured I figured it would be easier to deal with than finding a perfect site otherwise, but you know, we'll see if that's true. So far we've been able to just deal with it. Okay, someone's coming. That's all that matters. This also needs to be a channel. Alright, and then... And this is all just dig. Dig, please! Some of these digging constructions are going to be a little intricate, but I tried to make them so that they are still quick to dig, even if they're, like, fiddly to place. Because uh, I'm going against the calendar, not necessarily the real-time clock. Uh oh, stream died. Uh, it says it's fine on my end. Try refreshing. I have received no errors on my side. I, what about my phone? What does my phone say? Phone says I'm live. Yay! Yeah, that was weird. Um, I I got no errors on my side, so uh, not sure what that was. Refresh and everything, huh? Weird. Like I have like no dropped frames. Everything's green. Weird. Uh, okay, keep digging, and then and then how did this work? Yeah, you just you need to dig that. Yeah, that's all still fine. Someone, please do the thing. Please. Please! There's like, there's rats in here and stuff. A large rat. Not a giant rat. A large rat. Um, all of our, all the emus are fighting. Probably gonna need a hospital sooner rather than later. How, how successful have you been? I mean, we're we're out of emus. Now we have a cougar. That's much worse. Nobody um nobody touched the cougar. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna end up in a cage. You're gonna end up in our pasture. We just wander around. Okay. We still have a lot of wood to grab, don't we? Wow. Wow, okay. Pretty satisfying. Um, okay, so now how are we doing on rock blocks? Because that's what we're gonna need to make our wall here. I, uh, I put that all the way at the top because I'm smart. Okay, in theory we have a bunch of rock blocks. 
So I'm going to tell him to start building this wall because, um, yeah, uh, because. And what do we? What do we got? Four of those. Four ten. It's sixty-five shale blocks. There we go. And that's what I'm looking for. Jail blocks. There we go. I only need. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, and I can't build over a stockpile because why would you be able to do that? Okay. And we'll just do like this, maybe. They will start making some more blocks for me. And then this I'm going to repaint to be fully inside this wall. And that'll get them going. And then I also need to keep an eye on down here. If they can... They did. Okay. So now this is the bottom of that, and then that's the cistern. So yes, so we're digging here. Or we're channeling there, even. Because uh, that's our stair. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we do stair, and then channel. Perfect. And then same thing here. Try open you. Okay, so you did the one stair. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. And then, and then what? Now you need to do that. And we need to channel here, here, and here. And then you also need to dig here. Because this is going to be our drain. Or one of our drains. Dig. And you're, you're still fine, right? Okay. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Okay, perfect. And then you're good. And then no one needs to be down there no more. Perfect. Okay. Working on it. They're working on it. Um, I did make some wheelbarrows. I should just assign some to here. But everything's in here right now. Um, and then these, we're still waiting on those to be removed. sitting at 50 frames like we're capped. I raised the cap. I think I think my game is just being weird at some point. And then I want to smooth those two.
See, this isn't so bad. I'm going to smooth these. This, I also wanted... I don't really matter. I guess I was I was gonna do channels like this. All right? Yeah. Probably fine, but I'll do it anyway. And then we want to carve fortifications here. There we go. Cool. And then we can build a gate and such in here before we actually open up to the caves. Um, oh, and this is going to be our entrance into our little well here. And those got smooth, so now we fortify. And now we could ignore the fact that this is an aquifer because it's all just going to drain. Don't care. Now let's do a, let's build our bridge. Um, right, I'm just I'm gonna go like this. And then some cage traps. Alright, you know, just it's fine. Just do that. And those are Oh did I I I, I, no, I, um, why do I always do that? I made it engraved, not, <laughs> stop that. I made them pretty instead of holy. Uh, this, 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 there we go. That would have been funny if I checked back down here in like three months and it was all flooded because it was just engraved and not fortified. Be something I would do. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna dig and channel and then door. already filling up perfect so that will all drain and then yeah you're gonna be mad there it's fine and then yeah and then we're good um i don't even think do we have like ropes we have some ropes okay so that's actually fine uh i will just go ahead and build a well here even though Is that a machine? It is a machine. Uh, we have blocks, we have three buckets, we have some ropes, and we have mechanisms. Cool. And look, it's draining. It's just gonna it's just gonna flow out into the caves and make more mud. And it'll all be good. I'm also assuming that, like, this water can drain into the well. I guess we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but then, in theory, they have finished that batch of digging, right? Because this is all done, so now I want a well here. It's a machine. Well. Shirt. Bucket. Rope. Mechanism. And right here. Perfect. And then, and we still have all this digging to do, but that's all because it's the lowest possible priority. There we go.
now we want to install a whole bunch of rates, which count as instructions. Yeah, lower grate. And there's only going to be it's only going to be made out of things that I'm okay with it being made out of. So that's all good. Um, and then I'm going to say let's dig out a hospital section. Do like, do like half a hospital. Oh no, that's, uh, uh, come on. Here we go. Okay, um, that part of the wall got made. That's always nice. Oh, and it's snowing even. We do get a little bit of snow here. Okay. Um, let's do more wall. I think this was all shale. Let's see if we can keep making shale. Oh, strange mood. Oh dear. Or... You wanna be... I wanna make sure I'm not making it out of something silly. Okay. Not quite yet. Uh, okay. So you... are gonna try to do something. We even have the shop you want. There's a lot of shops we don't have so far. You're a woodcrafter? We do have a carpenter! Where are you? Strange mood. And you're just... You haven't claimed anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, what are we missing? We're missing quite a few things. We could do... But like, several of these don't... Do you want a clother? You're gonna want, if you're wanting to make clothes, then you're going to be upset at me. Um, we have a leather worker? No. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, 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 boop. Could also do, um, whatchamacallit, a metalsmith? Not that I have any metals for you to do anything with. I'm curious to see what Shoppy claims. I have, do I have something doing crafts? I should... One of these should just be doing... Oh, that, that's what I decided. Um, there you. You will not take work orders, and you're going to be doing... Mugs? Is that... Mm, where do you mugs from? Is that from... Stoneworker? Um... What is it called? Is it a goblet? No. Rock. Mug. Yeah, rock mug. Make rock mug, please. And yeah, nothing else. Yeah. Because mugs... Mugs are interesting because you make three out of... Three of them out of a rock. So... As far as like an easy way to make some early value, I think that will be a good, a good source. Um, 
So I didn't, didn't want leather. Or clother or metalsmith. Hmm. Hmm. Because all our food stuff is down here, right? This all worked. So we have stills, kitchen, tanner, butcher, fisher, farmer. Then what? Are you if you're if you're instantly wanting to make like um something from a kiln, I'm gonna laugh. Let's make a kiln. All this stuff is gonna get moved. Um and then Glass furnace. And then... You know, what? you wouldn't make anything at a wood furnace. Um, Ashery, Boyer, Carpenter, Craft, and then a jeweler? If it's not one of those, then I don't know what to say. You're not going to be trying to make like a artifact siege weapon. Pretty sure that's not a thing. And you're you're just going to go mad here, aren't you? I guess we have a little bit of time. care about that one. Hmm? 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 What are you wanting, Aiden? It'd be one thing if you claimed a workshop and weren't finding materials. That, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> There's a lot of materials we don't have. Uh, okay, so then... Uh, this is all good. I do want... Uh, there was like a wall I wanted to put in here. Like this. Because the water is going to come around and around. And then we have... Because I don't technically need right here, do I? Let's, let's save on stuff. But this is like on the same floor as stuff. I guess... It won't be falling here. It's just going to be it's like on the same level, but it's going to flow into there. I'm crossing my fingers that that's going to work. Um, we got there, and then we're starting here. Uh, construction floor grate. Here. I don't really need to select these. Here and here. Here and here. And then we'll get rid of those two and put grates there. And then that should be it. Look at all this! Look at all this! And then this well is operational even. Uh, and that happened. So let's do floor grates here and here. And then that's essentially it. Um, so they've dug. They've they've dug all my stuff, right? Or they're digging the hospital. Perfect. So. Next, I'm going to say uh, shop floors, which is this.
Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is start like just the middle bit here. Uh, yeah, I wish I could like... There used to be like a way to just change the priority on a, on an area without like having to redesignate the actual stuff. Um, but then we're just going to do like this. No, uh, uh, control Z. Uh, and then I guess same thing here. That'll get us started with our, with our stockpiles. Hooray. Um, yeah, that's some that's some stuff to dig. Keep working on that. And this is gonna be our hospital, so you need so we're gonna need like uh traction benches? Do I even bother with traction benches? Hmm. bed goes in the middle, and then tables, and then traction benches at some point, oh, and chests, and like, oh, we don't have chests, okay, <laughs> someone needs to be making chests, uh, but then we're going to do... It's just one of the meeting areas, right? And this is all gonna count as hospital. New hospital. The Gloved House. That is a very appropriate hospital name. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, okay, and then we should have a chief medical dwarf. Um, you. Why not? And then you can also be our doctor. That'll be enough for some scrapes and bruises. What are you doing? You're resting. Oh, you're, you are injured. Okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to dig out the rest of this. And you still haven't... Hmm. Adequate Woodcrafter is your highest skill. A boyer, right? We have a boyer. What are the odds of you wanting a siege workshop? Fine, I'll just I'll just put it down there. We'll see what happens. Um like we have mechanic, we have jeweler. We have leather, we have clother. We have we have a we have a metalsmith. We don't have a smelter. But what would you want with a smelter? Hmm. The badger bar has reverted. That's fair. We have caught one thing. Mm 
It says they're waiting. Hmm. You're still, yeah. Disdain's peace, bad with words. Clearly. Because, like, wood crafting would be done from craft or shop. Is there a reason you're just, like, hanging out on the craft or workshop? So we have a carpenter. We have a boyer. We have everything that you could want. We have everything you could want. Uh, maybe just another... Oh, what's being weird? Can I just do another craft dwarf? Craft. Just plop. Something's gotta work, right? Like you can't decide between the two. People, I see no jobs. People need to do things. Are gonna go climb that one? That was weird, right? That's weird. We have... Okay, well then stop. Stop removing. <laughs> we had three craft dwarf workshops here. Dwarf goes into a strange mood. And he was just like bugging out going... Like he couldn't decide which one to take. So I had to build a third craft dwarf workshop. Metal bars, okay. Logs and metal bars. Okay. You're gonna have to get some metal smelting going at some point anyway, but, like, under these circumstances is real cool. So now I need to make a wood burner. Like, this is all stuff that I'm gonna put down here. Okay, and we have... See, this is why, like, all this clay space is very nice. Um, I can go ahead and just start plopping some things down here. Let's do... I'm gonna want... some smelting. Uh, let's do... You know, bauxite. Whatever. Um, and then... I know I mostly want, like... Kilns are going to be the main one. Um, kilns are going to be the thing that I use a bunch, I think. Where'd you go? Um. And then maybe we'll do... Let's do, like, um, one... I guess I also need a wood burner. I need a wood furnace. And then I'm gonna need an ashery. Uh, needs a bucket. Okay. Let's. We can make 10 buckets, that's fine. Um, and we'll start with that. And then they're they're digging out our spaces. Very good. And then as as they finish in here. Yeah, okay, so then that got done. And they can 
can like they can walk through here. This is. I feel like this might be a bad idea, but we will find out. Um. These still haven't been removed. Maybe we just leave them. That's how it's gonna be. But I do need to get into here, so I need need to make a need to dig an upstair. Like that. And then channel that. And then this. Yeah. And then we would channel that. Yeah. So we also need to be making walls. Um, let's do a wall here. And then here. Hopefully no one gets, you know, Amontillado here. Okay. Yay, Magma Industries alive. Very nice. Very, very nice. those walls are made we can turn on the waterfalls and hopefully not uh thirsty unconscious where's our doctor okay so we need to make some charcoal so that i can make Fuel, so that I can make bars, so that I can make a dwarf not go insane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's happening. Good, 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 good. Okay, no one's trapped in here. 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 No one's trapped in there. No one's trapped in there. And they're all closed. Okay. Oh goodness, does that mean we're doing it? I think that means we're doing it. Wait, okay, for real, where is our doctor? Uh, it is... Thob! Where's Thob? Bob, where are you? You are constructing a building. Is that really the best use of your talents? A man of your talents? Building smelters? Oh, a ghost. Oh yeah, I never placed... We've had one death and I didn't place... The thing, okay. Uh, because I was gonna dig tombs here. Hilarious. Let's just do this. Or even more accurately, uh, if it were just placing, or no, it, it, we have a tomb. We have a tomb. We don't need to be placing a slab. We just need to actually like make a coffin. So right. well, that will work for that. Um, and then here, we're, we're making coal. I'm gonna go ahead and add a coal job. Make coke from bitumen's coal and lignite, because I think we're finding both of those. Um, amount of that and amount of We 
really haven't found five coal. Okay, or 10 coal, I should say. We have found lignite. Okay, so that's, that's encouraging at least. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then our moody dwarf wants metal. What do we even have ore of? Probably have found some iron ore that's everywhere. We found some cassiterite. That's very good. Ooh, and some platinum. If we, if the only bar that we have is platinum, then he'll make a platinum thing. <laughs> How about that? How about we make a single bar of platinum? Smelt native platinum ore. Perfect. And do that quickly. That'll be funny if it works. Someone will do it at some point. Um, and then here we're digging our initial tombs. And once, once the Moody Dwarf is settled and the Ghost is taken care of, then I'm going to start the Waterfalls. Um, yeah, and then we got Kilns going. Um, and then from there we just start making the rest of our workshops, right? Because uh, I'm going to want plenty of stone worker. other thought I've had. So, um, clothing, right? Clothing's a thing. Clothing's a kind of difficult thing sometimes. I wonder how far away that single platinum nugget is. <laughs> it's probably quite far. Is it you? No. We go okay so i'm gonna make a boom um and we have plenty of coffins at this point and some doors and then we can just do multi tombs hooray we have six tombs now Someone's someone's gonna do this someday. Is it you? Yeah, you <laughs> look how slow you're going. We're gonna need more wheelbarrows. Or at least we're gonna once we get all of our stockpiles like actually placed, we're gonna have to assign a bunch of wheelbarrows to them. But you're you're getting there. You can do it. You can do it. And you've got charcoal and you're smelting. We're gonna get a single platinum bar. Our, our moody dwarf is probably gonna want more than one bar, maybe? Well, let's, we're gonna find out. Uh, but we'll have to make something else for him, if so. Ooh. Oh, and it made four bars. And they're already getting... Are you, is, is someone, are you coming straight for them? Where'd you go? It's not you. It's right, you, you're, wow, you're so fast. Look at this. I sense metals! Mine! And it's gonna take you forever to take it. <laughs> but you're only grabbing one. I wonder if you could even take more than one. Um, while you're working on that, let's go ahead and do some more workshops. We could do crafts. Uh, yeah, I don't want to accidentally use platinum bars for making whatever we're making a workshop that'd be silly okay so that all happened um where are they are they still digging are you still digging 
Where are you digging now? Oh, okay, that's fine. Fair enough. Okay, how you doing? You're working! Okay, three logs and a platinum bar! That'll be something! <laughs> It's a craft dwarf workshop, so it could be literally anything. I imagine the wood is the um, the base material, so it's gonna be like decorated with platinum. But that's still gonna be something. That's still gonna be something. A sock. It. I don't think it could be a sock. A sock would come from clothing, but a wooden sock made embellished with platinum would be a very dwarfy artifact. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, and I want... Okay, so I do want to be able to control my water, right? Um. Oh, look! There's a cougar inside the fortress. <laughs> oh! How did you get in here? You should have had to go over cage traps. There's a hole up here. But I don't see one. I do. Hmm. Why is there a cougar in my fortress? I'll assume that's fine. No official position. Huh? Uh, let's let's remove some of these. These are obviously not required. Um, get rid of that kiln. Um, the rest of these we are gonna have to make these. So yeah, stone worker we can get rid of all these stone workers. Start, start making all that crap downstairs, please. And craft dwarf. I'll have to reassign our mug job. Still going for it. Cancel clean patient needs empty bucket. Didn't I tell you to make buckets? Told you to make buckets. Please make buckets. Aha! Woodcrafters created Dosim Ilbad, Dosim Ilbad, an ashen amulet, offers it to the eviscerated lashes, which is uh, us, right? Um, okay, so it's an amulet, but it's gonna have platinum on it, which means it's worth 2700. That's fine, I guess. That's fine. Not mind-blowing. Uh... 2,700 out of 1,300 of our total created wealth so far. Considering we have, like, nothing. So, okay, cool, thanks. We did a thing. Uh, but that means, I think... I do want to do... I want to do some floodgates, just for the sake of... Being able to turn things off when I inevitably, inevitably find out that it's done wrong. Um, so I'm going to put two here, so that'll be like turning off the river flow entirely. And I'm going to put two here. So that means you can't get in there now. These. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so you're good. Those has been put to rest. Good, 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 good. Those two things dealt with. Um, and then in theory, the digging is still happening, right, people? Where are you digging now? Oh, you're digging way down there now. Okay, cool. That's fine. I did tell you to do that. What's anything interesting? Just Gabro? Hmm. It's open for maybe a cave or something. I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna take so much digging just to find magma to maybe have it be useful if you then invest a bunch of time into it, right? It's all shale. I don't know. Shale! Hooray! Oh, just barely not. Okay, fine. And then uh, we can take down this wall. And reclaim our wood. A sock. Yeah, it's the, the equivalent of a sock, I guess. Not... Not the best, but whatever. I mean, that also made... Is Aiden now a legendary woodcrafter? We do have a legendary woodcrafter now, so... That's not the worst. Uh, and I do already want space for more workshops, don't I? <laughs> This is all, I mean, this is all clay, so it's going to get mined out real fast. It's two. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, okay, so those two got made. Still waiting on those to be taken down. Because, of course, uh, but we can link those. Oh, we need to make a lever room. I haven't had, I haven't made a lever room. I usually put that down by the dining hall. All this hematite, that's cool. Let's do... Yeah, let's do, let's do a lever room here. Make it accessible to everyone who's on this floor, rather. Then I'm going to put tables and chairs. We're going to put them on the sides, and then this will be our dance floor. Blam. Sipped. Lever. I don't care which. Door, 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 door. door. Uh, and then what else? I mean, are you? We are still digging. Are you coming up to dig now? Okay, cool. That means you discovered a whole bunch of things. Oh, well, we found gold. Native gold is nice. That does factor into my plans. Um, but that's 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 fine.
Oh, there are trees in the way. No. I will chop down a bunch of the trees that are immediately around this wall. But nothing climbs and gets in. Uh, but, you know. We'll get there. Expedition leaders. Why is everyone fighting? The emu. Oh, the cougar. Uh, did you all just get mauled by a cougar? I guess I did just ignore the fact that there's a cougar in the fortress. <laughs> Where are you now? You are still in the fortress. Okay. And we don't have, you know, a military or anything. Hmm. We just have a couple hunters. We have a couple hunters. Talented, mar talented Marksdorf. That's fair. Okay, you're all decent, I guess. Uh, just someone, like, actually hit it with something. How did you get in? You should be in a cage. You have an axe. Ma'am, hit it with your axe. Oh dear. Can I just do... Can I be sneaky? That works, I'm gonna laugh. Ooh. It's, it's swooping. This is fine. These are not gonna... Hmm. Can I just... I want... I want someone to be able to get in there. Ugh. Uh... Here, because uh, we can get yeah. Let's just do do that, and then we'll wall that back off. That's fine. Okay, the rest of this is gonna happen. Digging is happening. Okay, that happened. I was waiting on these. And then yeah, the you can stay. Whatever. Okay, now the cougar's in the animal place. Oh, now you're gonna go down? That's not better. Go back up, please. Where'd you go? Now you're just on the production floor. <laughs> Canceling cancel jobs on my production floor. The cat didn't care. Hey, did you know there's a big cat out there? Oh my god. Chase it out! Now where's it going? Now, now where'd it go? Is it going further down? Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, it's back up here. Okay. Enraged at all enemies. That's fair. Oh, and this is our broker. Yeah, get away, please. Okay. I mean, you almost got it. Someone just needs to land a, a finishing blow. Ugh. Did these get canceled? No, not even. It's reminding me of all the things we haven't done yet. Like, make a weapon. We have axes. Like, pickaxes, I should say. <laughs> Just in the dorm. 
<laughs> Sigan does not know what just happened. <laughs> I guess this is fine. All these, all this food just on the ground because someone saw a cougar and dropped it there. Uh, Hunter, for real, you even have ammo? You have ammo on you. You just walked right by a wild animal inside the fortress. Are you gonna come help? No. And then you, you are stone carver. You're just beating it with your fists. That's cool and all. And then you gave up. Okay, that's fine. You can't give like a hunt this specific animal order. I could have just locked it back there. Hmm. How about... Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. How about this? How about... We have a timeout. Uh, someone should finish building that, but... Other than that, you are locked in there. And I can ignore you for a second. Uh, this all looks fine. Okay. More walls, please. It's gonna find its way out. It's gonna immediately find its way out. At least there's doors here. But now I'm now I can't get to our animal stockpile. Whatever. Okay, we're getting all this done. Okay, 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 okay. So let's do like, we do like a big furniture stockpile. But that's always the biggest. Uh, something like that, probably. That's gonna be furniture. And then I want a place to put all the rocks we're using for stone stuff. Like, uh, yeah, because these two things are what use rocks the most, I would say. So let's just, just put, put this here. It's going to be junk stone. Let's say stones. Um, not metal ores, not economic, not clay, just everything else. Uh, you get wheelbarrows. And then... Uh, yeah, shells and stuff. We can put... Somewhere. Uh, let's just do this. That's gonna be... Refuse. Like, not really refuse, just... All bones, all shells, all skulls. This is just... Furniture. And then what? Finished goods? I was gonna have this, so this is our, our trade area. Uh, 
not gonna bother splitting our trade goods this time. I'm gonna try to do just a big old finished good stockpile. And then that's gonna be close enough to our trade depot that I'm not gonna bother. We should we should get that going as well. So let's do this and this. And this is what that was going to be like a trade good stockpile, but I don't know that I care. Um, and then let's come up here. We can get rid of this. Uh, glass furnace, metal smith, clother. I, I haven't moved these yet. Um, and then you no longer take furniture or finished goods or stone. Or food. Yeah, the rest of that's fine for now. Because that's some stuff to move. Why did they just get cancelled every once in a while? This is all going to become storage for wood. Make a little lower priority. No, come on. I don't need... We can we can dig this as well because this is the ramp for the traders uh oh i just i just erased <laughs> right okay yeah 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 uh, except i do want to make a bridge before something bad happens like that like this maybe and then we can do some cage traps cage traps forever yeah. and then the trade depot itself of course is that a, uh, is that a workshop Oh, no, it's just just it's just trade depot. Perfect. So now we have that entrance that everyone's going to use now until we uh, block it off, but that's fine. get uh or no i didn't link anything yet of course but these still haven't been made I swear i swear um but we can we can link the one so this is going to be um waterfall low and we link to here and link to I only have the okay we need more mechanisms I guess that's a thing that can go here too um, I probably want it over here oh whatever um it don't really matter Two of those, and then and then what else? Um, and then everything else. I want 
carpenter. Uh, do you still want a boyer? Just, just to have a boyer, probably. Okay, so we've made we made fuel. Oh, and we should make um, space to put those things. So I'm gonna do a bar block stockpile like that. Just gonna be bars. Uh, bars and blocks. I'm gonna be not not these. Not blocks. Just the metal bars. Metal bars and fuel. Hi, cat. Scoot a scoot. And then we'll do um, another stone stockpile. Uh, a, a couple more stone stockpiles. So there's going to be fuel rocks. Uh, some coal and lignite. You get some wheelbarrows, and then we're going to put ore stockpile here. I have a an iron one. Basically, we do iron and then precious stones or precious metals. I'd help if I could spell iron. Hematite, limatite, magnetite. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that all goes there. And then another one for. I want acidorite. I want platinum. I want aluminum. I want gold. I think those are the only ones I care about. At least all I care about for now. And then you all get wheelbarrows. You get three wheelbarrows, and you get three wheelbarrows. Okay. And then everyone's going to take a minute to move all my stuff around. That's cool. And and maybe eventually link our stuff. Oh, and you're doing that? Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we can link those as well. Um, oh, and our... and this too. Okay, so we have things to link. Things to link. So you are water. I like ri river. River. Hello. Need to set up my hotkeys too. Uh, so you link there and then you link here. And probably don't have enough mechanisms to do all of it, right? Which one's done? That one's... okay. Jeez. Link. Nope! Okay. Fine. Migrants! Did we get three migrants? Okay, that doesn't bode well. 
Not too surprised, because our wealth is not exploding quite yet. Um, but that is, that is, uh, that's a sign. We could, we could have done better there. Pretty sure. Um, and the next two, the, the summer and fall ones are probably going to be very similar. Okay, so we're doing more shale. You're in your first year. We are just we're uh, in the spring of the second year. So we just um, like on I guess technically on the fifteenth. So we're six days into year two. Hi, cat. A 13 yeah we're we're gonna have to start cranking out some stuff sometimes the second year is light on migrants it always takes me a year or two after my embark to really get going on migrants yeah and I think that's mostly down to the wealth thing right um, you need to be making enough wealth in the first three seasons so that the first outgoing Warven Caravan reports a high wealth number because that's what determines that, you know, this year's worth of uh, migrant desire, essentially. Uh, and then we can whoop, wood. Hooray. And our, our cougar is still back there. That's fine and all. Yeah, we're just <laughs> we're just low on manpower. Carpenter. Um, what else have I not moved down? Metal smith, glass furnace. Um, I am just gonna do like one glass furnace. I think kiln is gonna be the thing that we do more <laughs> hardcore. Uh, but I do want a glass furnace. I want leather. Um, and I'm I'm temp I think I'm just gonna be making leather stuff for our dwarves to wear, but I'm gonna make a single clother for the sake of strange moods. Um, and then actual metalsmith is a thing we need. I mean, uh, right, we need to disassemble this one to get our anvil back. This can go away. Hey, look, a berth! That counts! Leather can go away. Clother can go away. Mechanic can go away. Boyer carpenter. Okay, so we've, we've done all this. We've done all that. Just all needs to get moved now. Uh, another strange mood. Holy cow. Really? Ooh. Strange mood. Cool it. Particularly secretive. You're going to claim one that I was claiming the metalsmith that I was just about to disassemble. Sketches bars of shining metal. Okay. Well. This is the one we should have given the platinum to. What's our rocks look like now? Um, we could make we could make gold. Oh, we have more platinum. Okay, never mind then. Oh, and we want to start collecting our colonite as well. are over here, so our Kalanite goes over here. Or I'll put it... Uh, whatever. I'll put it over here.
here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you, I'm just going to say make platinum. Here, make platinum on repeat. High priority. And are we digging anything? I think. So we need to be digging more. More digging. Um, and then what's next? Uh, bedrooms? We start on some bedrooms now? Probably help with some grumpiness. I'm just gonna do this whole floor. Because that's uh, 14, 28, and then these are gonna be for like long stay people. Of course, this is all silly priority stuff, but whatever. Whoops. have more floors designated and such, but uh, this is enough for the moment, I think. So we'll go for that. And this, no, come on. Actually build the thing, please. It's like, it has the skeleton in it, but it hasn't been finished being placed. <laughs> I guess. I was going to put a well here too, wasn't I? But whatever. I can. And then I want this floor that over. No one needs to be in there anymore. Oh, floor, yeah, okay. See, look, our aquifer is just draining into the cave, and I don't care. This is an operational well. Uh, okay, so then I care about um, the mechanisms. I probably need to make, probably need to increase the priority of mechanisms. The mud must flow, yes. Uh, okay, so you are connected to one, but not the other. So, link to the other. And then these are both done. These are both done. Good. So then we could even just go ahead and actually do this. I'm going to do this. And then we'll just have to pull a lever to actually do the thing. Uh, this is a dig. There. Goal of my fort is to do an underground tree farm. Excellent. That's going to work out quite nice. Under I really like making a lot of underground stuff. Um, like building in the caves is really cool. I think. Slowly getting there. Oops. Oh, just barely not. Okay. We're a handful short. Oh, and you're you're working. Okay, good. What do you got? You have platinum bars and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> I gave you the tools for success. Now make something impressive. 
<laughs> There's literally nothing else up here now. Of course. <laughs> Our cougar. Oh dear. Uh, so that's being worked on still. And then, yeah, okay, so now there's water here. And it's not flooding or anything. And then we want a floor over here. Okay, like that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and chop down some trees. Usually do anything within three, three tiles of the wall. And then I'm going to pave a road around the whole thing. Hulet has created Edodoler, Edod, Edod, Edod Deller, a platinum amulet. Two amulets? Is that where we're at? We have two amulets. Okay. The Wise Guiles and Board Steals. Uh, this one's it's worth the same. Goodness. They just need to put more stuff in there. It's just, it men it's a platinum amulet menaces with spikes of platinum. Okay, thank you. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> um, oh, and these, these need to be linked as well. Uh, so we're going to say be up to their chins in platinum amulets yes <laughs> um this is going to be great the merch entrance and then this is great depot the uh, port entrance Then this links to here, and then this links to here, and then we can be secure. And we can start getting rid of these walls. pasture right now our pasture is inside the walls how about that <laughs> uh, and then our uh, we also have our, our gather our fruit gathering uh, do I restrict that to be inside maybe I do for now I don't want them going too far abroad at the moment. Do something like that. And that's fine. Okay. Because there's, I mean, there's plenty of food in, in the courtyard now, right? And then we'll have some more trees growing in here. And we got like an almond sapling and some musk melon. So that'll be fine. Uh, and then we can get rid of this. For a second there, I thought that the trader was like hanging out in the depot this whole time. Oh, I have a. Okay. Weird. No. No, no, no. Let's <laughs> do this right, please. Yeah. this I did okay cool and then I wanted to pave a road uh, 20 
before. I could pave it out of wood. Um, let's pave it with our shirt. I have to go make soup for dinner. Catch you later. Sounds good. Make sure you put in all of the, the minced tallow roasts into the soup. Make it a high quality soup. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be here shoving some dwarves into this fortress. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, we'll do let's do a shirt road. Do, do, do. Only the finest cat tallow. <laughs> do like this I guess oh, not enough okay that's fine that'll get that started at least We can go to these, get our mechanisms back. So we can place them right down below. So that you know our, our cougars can get caught before they get inside. Okay, so you did your thing. Our, so we're done. We've done this. We've done this. We've done this. We've done this. Does that mean I'm ready to flood the fortress? I need to put a wall here. But then we're going to have water come through here. Go down here and down here. Here's fine, and then here. Yeah. I think this is going to make a mess, but I think it will work. Uh, okay, so then I'm gonna leave this down so that merchants can come in whenever they want to because they like to surprise me. But then I'm going to close this. Like that. There's all these carrot seeds. Okay. And how's our... these? Okay. Can you not take seeds? I said no seeds. Goodness. I did that out of habit because I never put the seeds in the food stockpile because I put it by the farm. But we don't have a farm! So they're just all sitting on the ground. Um, but on the plus side, it looks like everything is taken care of except the seeds and some prepared emo gizzard. <laughs> they're working on that. Um, okay, and then all the bedrooms got dug. Now we're, what are we... We're going to want to, like, make the bedrooms. I don't think we're even making... Um, cabinets and chest yet? I don't think that's been happening yet. Okay. Uh, but we have some beds. Okay. That's enough for bedrooms. I mean, that's all they need. Done. 11 bedrooms made. It's 11 happier people. We're finding lignite down here. We're finding kalanite down here. We're finding limonite down here. All good. Hoping all my ramp trickiness works. Uh, so we should be making chests and cabinets. 
So doors, thrones, tables, yes. Uh, oh, and we have a bunch. I have a bunch of work to do in here, don't I? Uh, I'm gonna say no more wooden bolts. That's still in here, right? Bone bolts and bone bolts. Okay, I did bone bolts twice. Did I already get rid of wooden bolts? Guess so. Uh, but I was in there for a reason. <laughs> um, uh, chest, rock, chest, stone chest, sorry. Offer. Rock copper. And rock cabinet. gonna do tables and chairs in here don't work that way okay We're all doing socializing. All the miners are just hanging out. Uh, does that mean they have nothing to do? All three miners are socializing. Okay. Um, oh, we definitely need. Oh, we haven't made like any coffers. That's why we didn't have any for this. Someday this will be a fortress. Uh, then what? I was gonna check our this. Okay, so that got made. And no one's trapped in here, right? Okay, and these are both linked. I'm just gonna open these one step at a time. Just to make sure we don't flood everything. Hooray! Well, this works. interested to see if we get like this isn't like it's coming off the map here and then kind of taking a turn up into here so it's probably not like the highest flow possible but that's probably also a, a benefit i don't want like a raging torrent within our waterfall system i want i want some drippy goodness so this is probably going to work out fine uh, i'm going to go ahead and open these And hopefully things are going to start, you know, showing up. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of water. Well, someone to pull it, right? Yeah. All right, cross your fingers, hold on to your butts. Oh, there it goes. And then it should kind of split evenly, right? This is the idea here. Oh, and we're saving. How convenient. We'll have a snapshot of our fortress's doom if this turns out to not work. <laughs>
I'm also interested to see how our uh, our drains into the cave go because like it's splitting into two and then they it's you know there's two channels in here right two two ways for the water to go uh, but they don't rejoin at the bottom one of them turns into goes into well cisterns and the other one just drains straight out into the cave okay so this seems fine it seems fine and then we have mist are you happy yet optimistic about the future so am i uh so that worked this is working this is working i'm gonna follow it all the way down like you can see you can see the water but here it's misting yeah okay yeah get your thoughts get your waterfall thoughts always deal fairly that's fair i feel fine and then this is this is working okay we're going on oh, yeah here look look I feel so good! Drunk and in a waterfall. <laughs> the ideal dwarven state. <laughs> oh man, look, okay, that's perfect. That is excellent. And then this is all going, and that's going, and then see here, it's just going straight down into the caves. Uh, so yeah, this side is going down through, through floor grates. Um, down into, like, through the ceiling of the cave. As opposed to this, which is going to go fill this cistern and make our wells upstairs work. So that's good. Uh, and then flow through here. And then out through here. Uh, so I'm mostly hoping, 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 <laughs> mostly hoping that the fortifications can handle that much flow. Which I think is fine. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna flood the fortress and I don't care I really don't care just make it less welcoming welcoming to other critters so you know whatever um, but this yeah so now that wall is well is operational uh, and then our dining hall well is operational our hospital our well is operational we have waterfalls on all floors Cool. This is like a couple months into year two, and we have a functional waterfall system in our in our entire fortress. Look at this. Okay. Perfect. That looks fine. This looks fine. And then it's all just gonna spread out and then either evaporate or go off the edge of the map. Or make a lake. I don't know. Either way, it's not in the fortress anymore. And we have waterfall thoughts. Okay. Okay. Project number one complete. We have we have waterfalls so that our dorks don't get so angry about everything. Uh, let's just do a chair here. Probably enough for now. And we can just turn that off whenever we want to. And it will go most of the year. Not all the year, but most of the year. Uh, okay, so now, now what are we digging? We just dug a whole bunch of bedrooms. Uh, we should dig our, our artifact vault, because I'm sure as, as meager as those two artifacts were... Do they even show up? They were like 2,700 each. Architecture, yeah, I don't know. Those even count towards our wealth? Anyway, I want to make sure they don't get stolen, right? Uh, so I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be our artifact vault. Uh, this will be for um slabs in case someone dies in a way that I can't get their corpse back. Um, I do want a little bit more space for food workshops. 
and then these are these are guild halls which i really don't care about um we should do um so these, there's gonna be a um we had a temple request we've already had a temple request i'm gonna do a temple to that church and a non-specific deity temple um and that'll be good for the moment and yeah um did i make did i make leather workers I did okay so i'm thinking this here's a brain thought i think i don't want to mess with clothing but i don't want naked dwarves so i'm just gonna do leather armor um we'll do leather armor and then leather greaves i think leggings is leggings the art there's leggings and there's trousers leggings is the actually counts as armor and that is a difference that matters um where where am i i have so many so many tabs armor uh, so there's leather armor don't care about head don't care about hands leggings it is leggings. Okay, yeah, leggings and then boots. Um, so I'll do like leather high boots. And that's all they care about as far as like not being upset about being naked. Um, they'll get, you know, happier if they have more stuff, but uh, you know, that that's all it takes for them to, I guess we'll start with 10. That's all it takes for them to not get negative thoughts for not being naked. And leather armor doesn't wear. That's the main difference here. How much leather do we actually have? Maybe that's worth checking. So we have been killing some animals. I think I traded for like a crate of leather. I think it'd be in here somewhere. And hides. Uh, yes, we have 19. So we have some badger leather. Okay. Um, and that's over here. I'm gonna do a leather stockpile. And all these mugs. Well, we're making mugs. Um, oh, we should definitely put chests in the dining hall so that those mugs can go somewhere. Because, you know, making stuff is cool, but using it is also cool. Uh, chest, chest. Oh, we have a single chest. My goodness. See, it is... Interesting. And that's... I don't know if that's, like, people tracking it, or it's spilling, or... Yeah, I mean, there's just gonna be water. That's fine. It shouldn't ever, like, be enough to drown someone. It's just going to be damp. And that's fine. <laughs> Look at all this! Okay. My goodness. And see, this is the kind of thing where... Like, if I were speed running, if I were trying to go as fast as possible, like by a like a real time timer, I wouldn't do this because all of this water flow is probably going to make my computer run a little bit slower. This is not something you want to do if you're trying to maintain your FPS. But if my only goal is the calendar, who cares? Just flood, flood the cavern. It'll take a minute, but it'll, it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, and we want, I want doors, like, everywhere in here, too, don't I? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we can get rid of these. And they're, they're working on the roads. And working on the walls. Okay.
I'm okay. They're getting there. So now that the essentials are kind of taken care of... Uh, should I just get rid of this? Uh, let's get rid of... Turn off bars and blocks. Turn off leather. Do we even have cloth? I don't know if we have any cloth cloth. We are gonna have to deal with that cougar. Um, okay, so I think we're still we're still working on moving all of our stuff, so I don't wanna give them too much more to do. We are digging. Everyone's doing something, right? Except for the baby. Gathering plants. Yeah, we're doing okay on food. We're, sm we're smelting more platinum. Wow. Okay. I mean, this is a productive fortress at the very least. Splints? Why don't we have? That's fine, I guess. Oh, and we want to put, uh, we need chests in, in here as well. And we have chests, there we go. Let's do two. They can fit a lot of junk in two chests. Oh, and then, okay, so talking strategy. Um, you're, you're sleeping in your room, look at that! Look at that! Um, and then, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm hoping that the, our mood starts going up a little bit. I think it's gonna... Be attending a meeting? With who? Um... We have more, more doors. Two. Nope! We don't! Those have beds. Carpenter, I mean, we have a legendary carpenter at this point, so. Or no, like a legendary woodcrafter. Which is a little less useful. Yeah, but look, we're making, we're making stuff. Uh, and all that got dug real quick. Very nice. We, we're gonna need more doors, um, but that's fine. Let's just do meeting area, and then this is a uh, this is a new temple to no specific deity, the pinnacle of dimpling. Very cool. All visitors welcome. That's fine. And then we have a request. Which I can use somehow. Can I? How do I? Uh, maybe I'll recognize it if I see it. This is a new temple. It was it was the decisive order, right? I mean there's 18 and one here, so it has to be them. There's, we have 18 of our 24 people are in the same church. Are we a cult? The temple of evisceration? Of eviscerators. Are we a cult? We a cult. Um, you can recognize uh, we agreed to build a temple, so we need to make it worth two thousand. You a mur murder cult? What was um? What was? I missed. Where? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What was the the temp the church to? I forgot to actually look. I thought the last fortress belonged to Sotek. It that one did. Who knows who this one belongs to? Um. Oh, but let's smooth. Does smoothing have any actual impact on on value if it's not engraved? I don't actually know. Um. But we're gonna. I mean, I'm gonna start building statues and stuff soon, so that's gonna that's gonna help that. Uh, but if I go to like, if I just do this. a new I wanted to see death war and fortresses most of our most of our population is in a church in an organized religion that is devoted to death war and fortresses there are six people who are not so you know possibly a cult we'll see Masterpiece Maple Barrel. Hey, medical dwarf, given birth to a girl. Uh, needs empty cage. I have a cage job in here, right? Make wooden cage. Okay, so that'll happen. Mostly to the cages. Okay. Now. To, to get wealth going in a proper manner, we have our we have our kilns, and we have a stockpile that's going to be gathering calonite. Uh, but I mean, we've already mined quite a like a maybe a bit. I've seen some. I know I've seen some stones. Look at, we're up to 37 lignite. Okay. I think we might just be fine. Kalanite, we have 10. Okay. Some of it's up here. Um, so we don't have a ton, but we can start making stuff. Um... I have I have an idea of a way that would be effective to start grinding wealth. We'll see if it works or how effective it actually is. Don't be surprised if I go, oh, that was kind of stupid. But um, we have we have the ingredients here. We have fuel. We're making platinum bars. I'm gonna say um, make I designate porcelain. No. Um, well, the only, I'm going to say make clay statue, we have access to other clay, but we're not gathering any of it yet. Um, so I want to, I do want to make porcelain when we can. And this is going to repeat as long as we have clay stones, I guess. But it says, hmm, maybe we'll do like one at a time even. Make a statue as long as there is a stone and do that forever. And a coal. I guess we'd make sure we have a coal. Then do that forever. Except if it's only one, then it's not going to populate all four of those kilns. So let's, let's do it this way. A clay statue. And then we're just going to do the same thing on each of these. We're going to say one at a time, as long as we have a rock and a coal. Same thing here. No.
I'm gonna let this one also take orders, but it's also gonna get same job. And then I also want to set up uh, some some gem stuff, right? Jeweler, jeez. No, not the closest. You're just gonna make it out of a platinum bar, and I'm gonna be upset. moves around strangely. There we go. Okay, how's our top doing? We're getting there. All these, uh, <laughs> all these step ladders are just out here. Okay. I could do like put some uh, some farmers workshops here and then use that for well am I am I gonna shear? We should shear enough to have enough thread to suture. But we we probably also have like could we even we probably have like badger hair sitting around. Let's do. I'm gonna do a loom. A loom is. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Is loom what I want? Oh, I forget it all already. Thread into cloth. So, yeah, it's gonna be a, a farmer's workshop, is what turns wool into thread. Or like hair into thread. Spin thread. I'll just make sure it doesn't take general jobs that are meant for the kitchen. Um, like, look at all this lignite. Very, very nice. Does this get curious if it increases in value as they they do this now probably not nope it's just a requisite for for engraving that's fair uh we'll or no okay i i correct myself i guess that's working Look, there's people in here meditating on Earth, meditating on fortresses. Cool. See, I'm providing for my people. Um, and then we were making a bunch of leather stuff, right? We have made some leather stuff. We're still working on some of it. That's to be expected. So this stockpile can just... This whole thing's gonna become stockpile. <laughs> Most likely. Just because it's so easy to mine out. But look! Porcelain statue of a dwarf! Worth a thousand! Right off the bat. That's what I like to see. We're up to... 12k... down or am I misremembering do we even have a do we even have an accurate count our bookkeeper yeah 
minus precision. Okay. No. At the very least, they're gonna slowly get better. Like, a very mediocrely created porcelain statue is worth a thousand. And then I'm gonna decorate it. Um... Yeah. These are all these are all the jewelers, yeah. And then which one was this for? This is for our iron ore. That's fair. Maybe let's do it like this. Let's take our bones and shells. We'll move them over here. Iron ore. This was this is like precious metals. Uh, so then I want a gem stockpile. I need like a, a raw gem. And then a decoration and put and decoration output. So then, this takes. All right, we're in we're in raw gems, so it takes raw gems. Did I do that right? Yeah. Um, and then you take cut gems. I'm not gonna be cutting. I won't be cutting those things. Yeah. 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 And you can each have, you can, or no, cut gems don't doesn't need, but raw gems should have a wheelbarrow or two. And you'll have your bins. Okay. And then the decoration stuff should also have. Yeah, okay. We should probably make more wheelbarrows. Do another, another batch of ten. And then decoration input, I'm going to say you can accept statues. We'll say everything. Yeah. Uh, and you can take statues. And then this will not take statues. Right? Or no, we'll say we'll say this gives. We'll say this gives decoration input. And then yeah. Uh, we're still we we need to assign people to be gem cutters. No. Just we're just waiting on them to do it. Okay. <laughs> As usual. But look at these numbers! You can watch them move! Perfect. Okay. We're on we're on the up. We're on the upswing. Okay. 
Okay. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And then what'd you end up with? About a thousand? Okay, that's fair. You're you're praying. Tell someone, I mean, show, someone should be working on engraving, right? Someone should become, someone should be working on becoming an engraver. I don't want to do someone who's doing other stuff. Um, maybe Tekkud becomes a full-time engraver and is no longer a hunter. Because we have... We have hunters. Hunter-gatherer, that's funny. <laughs> uh, we'll do that, and then we'll say... The three of you are, are gatherers, because we are just... We're, like, just gathering for our food. Um, oh, and we should do more fishing. We should definitely keep fishing. Uh, peasants. Peasants can fish. That works. We have, that gives us three miners, three dedicated miners, two people who can woodcut, uh, three people who can hunt. No one's planting, two people are fishing, three people are gathering. Everyone can stonecraft, one engraver, and then everything is everyone else. Okay. I think that's okay for now. Oh, did we just get more migrants? We're up to 29. I totally missed it, didn't I? Is that these guys? No. Okay. Well, we got another handful of people. Uh, we were at 24, so five people. Or, so nine people out of two migrant waves. Yeah. Uh, I think we can do better. I think our next attempt. Like this, this years of migrant waves, I think are probably the make or break as far as like a how impressive is your run kind of a situation. Um, I'm also going to run to the restroom real quick, uh, but I think everyone's just, like, hauling stuff right now. So I'm going to let it keep running, but I will be right back. Roads do take quite a while to make. Like, even making them out of blocks, it takes so many. Um, oh, and we should make... Okay, so we don't have a stone block stockpile. Uh, right? Because that's leather, smithing bars, finished goods. Yeah, so let's do... Uh, rock blocks. Gonna be making those things. So that's fine. Uh, and then we take them out of here. Right. So because it's because none of this stuff is in there anyway. Um. So now we need the military stuff. Uh, gems can go downstairs. 
It's mostly the military stuff. Of which we don't really have any, uh, but we should. <laughs> I do want to get rid of the cougar that is literally inside of our fortress. Oh, and that's why all the cage stuff is canceling, because we can't get to the cages. Hilarious. Um, are we still digging? Does not appear so. Let's dig this stuff then. Because uh, this is going to be military stockpile. This is going to be training room and barracks. This is going to be archery range. This is like recovering the ammo. Oh, but it's, uh, oh, I didn't think of that. Can I, hmm. Should do like this instead. That's open, right? I don't want my dwarves coming in to here under, you know, non-trading circumstances, because I don't want them to go out this entrance, but I do want them to have access to here, because this is where our, our archery training place is going to be, so I'm going to move this gate down here. Or, uh, I will tell it to open. fine and then I will remove that and then I will make it like right here yeah. and then it cancels cuz it's wet all that's getting dug see a lot of this digging is so fast because it's not not stone to go a little more out of our way to find the stone, but when we just want a space dug, it's very fast. targets. And some doors. And some beds. I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make a five person archer squad. Even five people's a lot right now. I'm gonna make like a two person archer squad. Um, ultimately, what I'm wanting to, what I'm wanting to do right now is um, a move our move our junk down here. Uh, so it's going to be armor, ammo. Weapons. Yeah. Uh, and then that no longer is in here. So we're all just a, a box with a single bracelet in it. Oh, like they're gonna have to, like, 
unmix all this kind of stuff. Okay. It's gonna take him a minute, it's fine. Oh, I don't have like... I don't even strictly need... I don't strictly need most things. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I can link that now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, most appoint a militia commander. Militia commander is the leather worker. The jeweler might be important. So I'm going to make a squad that has leather armor. The bronze daggers. So this is going to be like an actual fighty squad. But I'm also going to make... I need to make my own uniform. Um, add uniform? Yeah. So it's going to be leather armor and leather... Trousers and leather high boots. And exact matches, but it can be over clothing. Right? So then they can wear like their own stuff on top of it if they want to, but I'm not going to be making them new stuff. I'm just going to put them in leather, because this isn't going to wear out the same way. That's the thought. Uh, so like you and you're like you have like actual stuff. Um, yeah, that's all going to be fine. You can do that. I'm going to once you get kitted up, I'm going to send you after the stupid cougar. Uh, but then I'm going to create a new squad. That's just leather clothing. And we're going to do two of these. The squeezing rooms and the ordered glazes. And these aren't going to be for, um, like, training or anything. I'm just going to put everyone in here. Yeah, it's just going to be literally everyone. Scroll. Well. So then they should all go put on leather clothing. And at the very least, they will be covered. And I don't have to worry about making them like actual clothing. That's my thought here. And they'll be a little bit more protected. They'll all be wearing leather stuff. Oh, bath. Has claimed a leatherworks. I must have tanned hides. Are we are we out of tanned hides? Have we used all of our tanned hides? That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Nope. Okay. Uh, we could butcher something, I'm sure. Technically being trained, though you're locked away in a place that, that no one can get to. Um, let's do... Do I care about the horses? Why are you a different color? Oh, and our chief medical dwarf has a, has a duck. Um, how about this? I'm going to... Butcher the donkey. And the bull. And hopefully that gives us leather for our strange mood. Has been abandoned? What do you mean? Oh, I was so close. Really? Okay. Well, now you're not getting anything. Um, we've made... We've made statues. Are they somewhere? There's all in here. Yeah, we're making statues. Look at all this. 
look at our our wealth being exactly the same. I'm guessing that this is more of a uh, we haven't updated our numbers situation as opposed to not creating wealth. So I'm curious what we're actually at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to get a caravan. The humans didn't show up to trade, did they? Hopefully we'll get some ca uh, a caravan in the fall and we can get some leather. Um, how are you doing? You have an axe and some leather. I mean, that's that's going to be what we have for you, right? So uh, let's go like this. Let's come up to our... There you are. Um, I'm going to open these and I'm going to tell you to go kill the cougar. Confirm. It's already injured? No, it's just kind of healed itself. But his toe is broken, toe is smashed open, front leg is dented, head is dented. Okay. Is this you? No, load cage trap. Oh, you're just gonna... Bring your baby into the cougar room. You're like a smart person. Are you our, your hunter? No. You're here to tame. And then you. You're here to load a cage trap. Yeah. I suppose I should have seen that coming. Never something you want to hear. <laughs> well, hopefully our one armed person. There you are. Uh, Zathan. Our militia commander. Look at that hair. Look at how wild this person looks. Okay. Can you kill a cougar? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Good. You look very fuzzy. Yeah, I know. Very wild. Just like, here. Uh, but that's good. That dealt with <laughs> that. Dealt with that. Um, that's one less... One less thing. Um, and we probably... Hey, we now know a few facts about badger training. And the troglodyte has given birth. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. That's fine. And then hopefully we'll, like, uh, butcher the cougar corpse as well. So. Yeah, and look, they're all moving. They're moving their stuff. Fun fact about badger training. Don't. Why not? Um, what am I needing? What am I needing right now? I need to keep my miners busy. I don't really care about guild halls. I don't really care about... Uh, because it was a funny joke. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... I need to continue digging. Should I just... I mean, I should be finding the, the porcelain stone. Uh, which... Alanite. Here we go. I'm just gonna take this and keep mining out this way. Everything past here, I don't care if it's like ugly or not. Um, oh, and then I need to put in some doors here so I can actually call these rooms. And then maybe attract some people that way. Um, no. No. I told you to be multi. Yeah, I worked that time. Weird. I keep doing meeting area. That's the problem. Oh my goodness. Bedroom. Done. Okay. So now, before anyone claims these, which is probably happening like immediately. No, good. Okay. I'm going to assign these to the location, the nut of mining, right? Because that's our tavern. Yeah. 
hopefully we can start getting petitions for people to stay here. Even if our fortress is completely filled with bards, that counts. There, okay. Um, and our, our tavern itself is open to anyone, right? We have, we have some goblets. We have uh, eight rooms available for rent, but none of them are. And yeah, that's, that's all good. That's all good. Um, oh, and I wanted to move the nest boxes down here. Because right now they're just up here. More stuff to move. And then what else is in here? Uh, cloth, coins, sheet. Probably don't have sheets. Definitely don't have claw or coins. Um, I'm even just gonna say cloth can go in here because it's not. We're not gonna have a large volume of cloth. Uh, and then sheets can go in finished goods. Now I can get rid of this. Blam. Metalsmith has created Ost Minbez, a sleek donkey leather cape. Oh, sleek. Nice. Offers it to the eviscerated lashes. What? How well did you do? Ost Minbez. See, it's, that's 2,000. Okay. Let's see. The number hasn't moved. I'm thinking, where's our, um... Oh, we should do Nobles Quarters. That's a thing we should do. They're all still just in their little temporary offices. Uh, bookkeeper. Our Cat Charmer. Deggle. Oh, do you... Do you not do bookkeeping if you're locked to mining? Now I'm key... Oh, no. Uh... You're a legendary miner, even. Okay. So I'm just going to not restrict you to it. And I'm going to see what you do. Because if you immediately go update your records, that'll be a TIL on my part. Falling off Minbaz. You knew right where that was, didn't you? Now, where are you going? At least you brought a wheelbarrow with you. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> but you don't have anything. What are you even down here for? Deggle. Okay. Oh, you're grabbing bolts. And then you did something with them. Are you gonna update our stuff? Oh, oh but it did update! Now it's at 14,000. Hmm. That's interesting. He didn't have to actually go go to the office, but it seemed like it wasn't updating while... The fact that all of these are like the same, all the weapons and armor and furniture are all the same number. I feel like you have some work to do. I think they're getting moved though. I think we're catching up. Prepare a rawfish.
Okay, well, and now it's early autumn. We're, I mean, we're booking. I'm hoping, I guess we should get the actual decoration stuff going. If our, if our hauling is getting caught up. It's already, already five o'clock. I don't want to stop. I can't stop. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's, so we're digging here and then this is all Kalanite. Very good. And then more shirt and more coal. Okay, so that's all good stuff. I'm gonna say everything like past here is just, that can just be quarry. Um, and then there's gems and lignite and hematite and kalanite. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna dig that. We'll start with that. Um, and we'll put some doors in right here. Uh, door, door, door. Needs door. Okay. And look! Are you... You're a child and you're an herbalist. Why are you... Are you really taken? Uh, it says five rooms rented. Are they really renters? They're not visitors. You're not a visitor, right? You're in one of my squads. Hmm. I don't know why normal citizens can just take... Oh. What is happening? Badgers. The badgers are back. Okay. Uh, well, this is all... This is all looking done. Um, at least as far as what I've told them to do is. Maybe that's why they're all catching up, because they're, <laughs> they're done up here. Um, but these are all these are all loading and stuff now, and you're you're gonna go hunt, and you're gonna go hunt. Okay, let's see what they let's see what they managed to do. I was close to a waterfall. I'm very content. You found a badger. We need to, be, we need to start making metal metal bolts as well, because that'll help them immensely. I mean, you're shooting. Oh, hey, look, you killed a badger. You have killed a badger. Um, okay, I do want to come down here and spend some time on our workshop links. Uh, these are that's smelter stuff, wood furnace stuff. Yeah. Um... And then where are the statues ending up? Are they all just still in the shops? They're all just still in the shops. Oops. A porcelain statue of llamas. Of a goose. Well. Now. Raw gems. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. We're going to have two jeweler shops that are for cutting. for decorating. Yep, right? Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, well. Nothing ever looks right. Uh, so I'm going to say Jim Cutter takes from rough and gives to cut. And then same thing with this other one. You take from rough and give to cut. And then the encrusters take from cut and input and out 
to output. In from cut and input out to output. And then output does not take from anywhere except as links. Input does. Mm. Input can take from anywhere. I think that's how that works. And then we just say you cut gems on repeat until you run out of gems. And then as far as work orders go, um, I want to I want to make sure we're smelting platinum and gold as long as we for as much as we have. Um, so I'm gonna say smelt smelt native platinum ore. Uh, all right, and then. Um, nuggets and coal is all I care about. So we've already used all our platinum nuggets, uh, but that's fine. We'll just wait until we find more. Uh, and same thing, we're going to do smelt gold. gold bars What is the job called? Smelt native gold ore. There we go. Uh, gold nuggets and we find coal. found some gold. I guess we've discovered gold, but we haven't mined gold. Um, and the same thing with aluminum. Apparently aluminum is very is as worth as much as platinum. No, native aluminum ore. So I want to be smelting those as they show up. I want to be making iron bolts. Uh, so I want to be smelting the three iron ores for these three, right? Limonite, magnetite, and hematite. Limonite, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, and these will be like five of each. Um, and I do want to keep like a steady level of iron bars instead of just all the iron bars. Uh, but let's say like. Maybe 20 iron bars? Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, so then we will have iron bars. And then I want to make iron bolts. to maintain a level of iron bolts with respect to iron bars and coal. And then, 
And these are weird because it's like a single job will make a stack of 25. So I'm going to do these like one at a time, one job at a time. As long as we have less than like 200 iron bolts. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to take him a minute, but that's fine. Um, and we're going to need more leather because, of course, we do. That's fine. Oh, and we should, like, actually make pedestals to store our stuff on oh i need to click close this too don't i yeah let's close that that we're actually you know as secure as we can be at least yeah, you're fishing you're fishing you're hunting but the badgers can't get to the horses and see so you're gonna follow in we're just gonna get either chased back out that works out kind of nicely. But even if they can get in, there's cages here. We'll get some leather out of the badgers. Yeah, keep hunting the badgers. Maybe that's that's where we get our leather from. Just hunting. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, they're, they're shy enough that you can chase them down a corridor. Did you get there? See, like, there's a way in <laughs> that I don't know of. Ah, so strange. So strange. Um. Oh, and then I'm gonna like actually make a barracks here. For our, our one dude. Um, but this is for bronze daggers to sleep and stuff in. And then... And you're gonna be... I want you to be an archer, I guess? Can the... Can art... Can can hunters train in the archery hall? I could, they probably can't, right? Because you assign it to specific squads. We'll see if anyone ends up in there. I don't think they're gonna. Okay. Uh, hey, diplomacy! The expedition leader meets with the outpost liaison. Hooray! world is the same as ever, so I'm going to want to ask for leather. All of your leather, please. Uh, I wish I could select all. And then I don't care about Blah. Um, we're okay on wood for now. What else do I want? What else do I want? I feel like there's other things I want, but not right now. I mean, thread? Thread would be good. Oh, we should be making bags. Bags are useful if we want to be collecting any clay or sand. But of course, we have all this kalanite. Maybe we just do that. Hmm. Let's call that good. Okay. 
A need for large gems ex is expected. Okay. Uh, so then, in theory, they're just here. Yeah. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is close this. Oop. Uh, I need to set all my hotkeys. And then open this. Okay, and then we will request our broker and we will move goods. And we're going to be doing our mugs. even have that many I thought we were just cranking out mugs I guess I probably probably assigned that to a thing and then disassembled it uh, here what if I do this we don't have like ugh. what's in here some artifacts we still have nothing we still have nothing. Do I trade them a statue? I mean, here's where all our value is. Holy cow. Just bring five statues, please. Yeah, there's no way there... There's no way that's actually updating correctly. Or... Like, presently. Okay. And then, yep, and that all worked. So then... Yeah. Uh, are there wheelbarrows here? No, there should be... There should be wheelbarrows here. Five thousand in statues will buy us a good bit of leather, realistically. That's kind of all I'm going to be doing right now. I wonder if the accuracy of our count impacts what gets reported. Oh, and you only think they're worth three hundred. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I am gonna. I'm gonna ask for some leather. Twelve bins of your cheapest leather, please. Two hundred. One hundred. 110, that's fine. If I do this... Excess weight. Oh, it weighs too heavy? You're not gonna like that? Hmm. Does the leather really not weigh that much? I mean... Huh. That's gonna be unfortunate. I didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of having to respect the weight of their outgoing caravan based on what I'm trading. Hmm. Hmm. And what do I trade you? could trade you a crappy artifact. Where's my amulet? Not just like a craft category. 
body parts? Do you want a bunch of shells? They're like, they're worth nothing, holy cow. Cages, do you want... Oh, we could sell them cage things. Do you want all my badgers? Do you want some caged badgers? Wow, we have a bunch of badgers. We have recently caught a bunch of badgers. But I feel like... Wouldn't it be worth more to just make the leather out of the badgers on our own? If I'm selling a badger for 30, I'm getting three pieces of leather back. Not even, because they have to have a profit, so we'd get two pieces of leather back. But if I keep the badger, I can get bones and skull and leather and meat. Mechanisms? Do you want a bunch of mechanisms? Or prepared meals? Oh, we have nothing for prepared meals. Hmm. Hmm. I did not think about the weight thing. What if? <laughs> So we're still in early we're still early into the season and I don't have any jobs going here that's the problem you need to be making rock mugs until you die uh, and you need to be making we need to look at our instruments we need to I'm looking for instruments that only take one piece. And is that does that just mean there aren't any? Does these all require you definitely have to make More research will be done. If I go over to like my glass, right? Glass, add, instrument. I guess so this has three this has three this has two bells so what is n gig gig bells so because if that has like just that only needs the bells make n gig uh here let's do so yeah okay n gig has a whole bunch of parts Or here, we can do assemble. All rhyme. No. And there's Anna's. Has a bunch of parts. Uh, there's all these arrow parts and then a DAC cost. Nope. Gig arrows, Othob. Othob's got a bunch of parts. This is all down to um, world generation. These are. I'm just looking for something that would only have one part. And there might not be any. Arrow. 
arrow, 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 fan. Uber. <laughs> no. They all have a bunch of parts. Uh, what am I doing? Come on. And an amid. Yeah, they all... They don't have any instruments that only have one part. So that's cool. Oh, we might not successfully trade again. Neat. <laughs> we'll be depending on our badgers for our leather for the foreseeable future. I mean, we are catching them. Uh, can I just... Should I put them... They should be closer to where they get butchered. Should I just make a separate stockpile for for critters? Does that happen? Is that one of these? Uh, let's do like this. We'll, we'll mine out all of this. Um, oh, and our nest boxes. We should make our nest boxes as well. I'll oh, do like this. works. And then here, look! All this calinite, all this lignite, hematite, shale. There's even more lignite going this way. Uh, I guess I... Be careful about the priority stuff. Uh, and then we can do like, auto on these whole veins. Um, let's try to make some more of these bedrooms. Of course, I just put those on the exact opposite room that had all the beds. That was smart. Finding gems. And look at all this coal. Okay. I think... Like, I feel like... For the scope of a fortress like this, where we're, we're only planning on being here for a handful of years, and just using everything that's in the ground, I almost feel like mining out coal like this is going to be faster than trying to set up magma. Oh, and, um, yes, of course. Can I make, like... Can I make... I could make glass display cases. Can I make like porcelain? Can I make ceramic display? Can I make ceramic pedestals? Can I make aluminum pedestals. Uh, let's see. Platinum. Not seeing porcelain. Can I make clay? No. Hmm. -hmm. Rock, glass, metal. That's really all I'm seeing. Instrument, instrument. Ooh! Ooh! I can make sosas. Excellent, okay. Oh, because it's make instead of assemble. Assemble's only gonna get the ones that can be assembled. But make is going to be a huge list. Okay, well. Good to know. If I go to glass... 
And there's no, there's only instrument pieces, but I go to kiln and there's make instrument. There's a single clay instrument that we can make. And can I make, I don't get to choose the material of it, but I can put you on repeat. Right? Let's say, let's, let's make like a handful of them. I'm going to make five sosas. Whatever the heck those are. Because instruments, oh, actually porcelain instruments would be very, very good. Instrument as a item has a very high base value, um, higher than statues. One of the highest, in fact. Um, so finding a, a single a single piece instrument that we could theoretically make out of like porcelain. Because porcelain is also a high base value. It'd be very nice. Uh, we have a bunch of gems in here and some cut gems. How are you? No? Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> put you back on cutting gems. Look at all that. Very, very nice. Uh, and did we dig? Not quite. Because I made the other thing higher priority. Like a smart person. Uh, I'm going to say this goes all the way this way. And then over here we'll put animal stockpile. And then, like, cages, empty cages will stay up here. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, and nobles' rooms, that's right. That's these. This is going to be for, like, a baron or something, so we'll <laughs> ignore that for the moment. I'm going to say this This is one. High, high priority, please. Now I'm changing my mind a bunch. Oh, but not... that how did I do that except that's probably gonna be platinum or something Guys need to like move the, the stuff. There's still so much to be done. Um, it doesn't even need to be that big. I'm just gonna go ahead and start like with this, and we say animals, but not the empties, just the actual cages. And then we remove this. Slowly moving downstairs. Slowly getting there. I'm seeing a lot of bins. And they're all still here. Is someone is someone making me mugs? Someone's slowly working on mugs. Should we do rock crass as well? It'd be easier to Raid. Like a mug. 
A mug is worth as much as an amulet, right? But it's just better, more efficient at stone use. Uh, okay, so badgers are showing up here. This says we're at 24k now. We're getting there. Almost 10% of the way there. <laughs> of course, there's just a bunch of emu tallow. This can take all the food. You should there should not be anything left laying around. And 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 port uh, pedestals. That's the thing I keep forgetting to actually do. I don't think we can make them from a kiln. Uh, so I'm just gonna make them with, with rock. I'm not gonna care the kind. We're just gonna make ten rock pedestals. Um, and let's go ahead and smooth and smooth this. Since they don't like to get smoothed after the pedestals have been placed. This is all. Yeah, I mean, look, there's all sorts of stuff here. Uh, and I'll just do gems. How about that? Also got a bunch of gypsum, which I'm not going to do anything with. We should make we should make enough plaster for our. Um... Oh look at this! But see, it is just flowing out. It's just going off the edge of the map. We are we are making a lake. Okay, we are making a lake, but that's fine. I wasn't necessarily going to do anything down here anyway. One thing we should do, we should definitely come down and peek inside this and this. So those are the only two. The only ones I see at a glance. Uh, but those could potentially have goodies in them. And I've... We do have some, some cage traps here. We should hook this up. We should hook this up. Um, this is... One door. Link to that. Our mood! Our mood's going up! Oh, did we just get a migrant wave? Oh, we're at 38 now? I keep missing them. Uh, we were at, what, 24? So that's... That's 14 people. That's a, that's a moderately sized wave. It's gonna help out with our, our hauling stuff, at least. Look at all these... Look at all these badgers we have to butcher now! I'm gonna make sure we have enough cage traps here to actually handle giant <laughs> crowds of badgers. Uh, and then this... Are you... You're not giving to anything. You should just have these turned off. Yeah. And then... Is this our this is our finished goods? Yeah. What do we even have? We got okay, there's it's just all in one it's all just in one chest. Okay. We have some mugs. It's okay, we've got some mugs now. <laughs> all these seeds. People. Okay, here we go. Look at all these badgers! Oh 
do something like this. Okay, so now lives not livestock, but these. Oh, because like they're not I can't butcher them because they're not trained. But I can do I do this. Can I can I just train them in the cage and then butcher them? I think that's the thing I can do. Let's say this is an animal training zone. And I'm going to set all of the badgers to be trained. Does it work this way? Because butchering gives better stuff than hunting anyway, right? I think that's what I read. You get a lot of knowledge on training badgers. Does anyone want a pet badger? Look at all these. This is way more efficient. If this works, this is way more efficient. Because this doesn't this isn't risky for uh for a dwarf. I'm gonna get rid of the upstairs training area as well, just in case someone decides to like haul them all the way up. The train, which would be silly. I want it to just happen right here. Are you, yeah, taming. Yeah, you're just doing it with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just do it with the food in the cage until it's tame, and then we kill it. I like this. I like this. Yeah. I like this. And then, and now we have all these badgers here, and I can just butcher them. Uh. I, I don't, yeah, just batch, butcher the badgers. Butcher the badgers. They're like... Oh, we have a puppy, even. Someone brought dogs. We have dogs again. Or we have we have a puppy. Okay, keep the puppy safe, please. Uh, and yeah, yeah, just butcher, butcher the badgers. Excellent. Yeah, and then you just have to haul it straight down to the butcher. You butcher the boar, the badger boar, butcher the badger boar. Perfect, and yeah, now there's all this badger stuff in here, and one of them's gonna be a stray badger boar skin. And then someone should be taking the badger boar skin and putting it into in an ad when I'm popping in so high. Hello, hello! Oh, I've gone I've gone a little late today, so hi. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Truly a cursed option, the badger boar. <laughs> can only hope it doesn't become badger boar badger boar boy. Do not butcher the badger boar boys. <laughs> uh, but then we have a tanner shop who is now tanning badger boar skin into badger leather. Yay! Oh my goodness! This works. This works for me. This works for me. And we're gonna get through them so quick. This is even faster than putting them in a pit! And better, because butchering it is better than, like, butchering a corpse that fell down a pit. Butchering a, butchering a live animal gives you more stuff. My goodness, we're gonna be like completely <laughs> badger meat for everyone. Yeah, look at all all this badger tallow. Oh my god, what's our our kitchen looking like? We got some plants. We have some pears and some plums. Yeah, look at all this. I don't need to. I don't need a farm. Uh, you can cook almonds, that's fine. We're picking them up off the ground. The rest of this is seeds, so that's fine. We have carrot wine. Look at all this. And yeah, you can, you can 
and I'm not gonna bother making soap. I'm not gonna bother making soap. So you can use the boar tallow for food. Look at that. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna keep catching badgers. Are there any are there any cut badgers that we haven't caught? There's a couple. There's two whole uncaught badgers here. And they're gonna get hunted. This is perfect. Do you and what's your ammo looking like? You're still using wooden ammo. And you're also naked. So we're gonna use this leather to make clothes. That's ultimately what's gonna happen. But yeah, that works. And then the empty cages go here. And then we catch more of them. And there's probably things I need to pasture, right? <laughs> uh, no, actually. There isn't. That's fair. Okay. So this is... This is a... Functional fortress, uh, and we are we're moving to the point where all we do. Oh yeah, well whatever. We didn't trade. I don't care. We'll we'll get them next time. Uh, but we're making statues. We're making our porcelain statues. We're cutting our gems. Right? Yeah. Look at all these cut gems. Um. We're also probably smelting. We're smel smelting iron. We're smelting platinum. I wonder if the two smelters is going to be enough. It might be. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out more workshop space. And this is, seems fine for now. Uh, what else can we dig? Are we almost dug? I mean, we can dig this for, for like, power and such. Um, let's say we'll get um, power into the kitchen. That's a useful thing. Um, I don't know that we're actually harvesting any grains to grind, but that's a, a thing we can do. Uh, and then we're just going to need more bedrooms, right? So let's say uh, we'll dig out this floor next. And we'll see if my my designations actually worked. Da, 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 nope. We're off to a, a decent start, I think. We'll see what this actually translates into as far as like wealth creation and uh, migrant uh, encouragement goes. I'm curious what you know where we end up with uh, but we're up to 38 people we're a year and a half in a hundred people to go what's our world map look like I'm curious to s I do want to see if we can get like holdings that we can request people from I'm curious to see if that'll happen Okay, you all got doors? You all got doors. Done. No, it looks like this worked. Cool. And then this is gonna go up. Okay, um... Yeah, want to make sure people are actually, like, collecting our... our badgers out there? I think... Why is there... Why'd you just bring... Why is there a badger corpse there? Uh, and then what's our, like, what's our leather looking like? Our tant hides. We got some tant hides. Look, seven badger leather. 
So that's going to go into our... We've already finished the other jobs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm not even going to put in, like, another leather armor job. Just make ten more of those. <laughs> okay, now they're now they're organizing all the stuff. And look, we we went through all the badgers. And we just need to train the rest of these. That is so nice. That is how you do it. Badger, 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 badger. Now we're good on food forever. Yeah, screw farming. We don't need to make farms. We don't need to make clothes. We don't need to make... We don't need to use magma. Let's just... We're, we're, we're good. Let's, we just need to optimize this and start cranking out wealth. That's where we're at right now. And we're getting some, some person power to be able to actually move our junk around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably start training some actual archers soon. Look! More badgers! <laughs> there is one thing that we need to be careful about. Um, and I'm curious to see if it actually comes up. Um, but, uh, according to the wiki, who knows how accurate that is, according to the wiki, uh, if the total number of units in memory exceeds a thousand, and by total units, it means, like, including corpses. So if the total number of people and animals and corpses of people and animals, and, like, that total number reaches a thousand, it starts putting a cap on migrant waves. So we want to, like, not reach... We don't want to kill a thousand badgers. We want to kill 500 badgers, maybe. We don't want to kill a thousand badgers. And I'm... I'm curious to see how that works out. I mean, we're only getting... I mean, like, even a dozen is a lot of badgers. But that's a far cry from a thousand. So... Like, if we look at our dead list, there's already quite a few people here people. Well, quite a few badgers here. Um, but it's so long as this, like, all of these categories don't add up to a thousand, we're theoretically okay. But we could, we could theoretically press that too far. But I'm thinking we're going to hit our goal before we approach that. Uh, but yeah, um, we made a fortress. We made a quick fort. Do I even bother... Making these roads was so labor-intensive. It doesn't even account for wealth, probably. It probably counts as architecture. Which is a part of created wealth. Mm -hmm. That's not really enough... a good source of wealth. Guess we'll see what happens if we start seeing goblins. Like, there aren't even that many goblins in this part of the world map. I think... I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're... we're starting to see stuff here. And then you should be... You should be giving to there... At some point. And then if I look at, like, our, our squads... Yeah, you're, you're all needing pants. Everyone needs pants. Leather trousers. Okay. Let's just do that. I am curious if I can just keep everyone clothed in leather stuff. And not bother with, with like, cloth or silk or wool. That would be... That would be nice.
Okay, I am becoming starving. So I think we need to end it here. Uh, but this is like we're a little over a year and a half in. And we have industry going pretty, pretty, not, not full throttle, but like we're, we're making stuff, right? We're only gonna make more. In theory, we're about 10% of the way to our wealth goal. But I want to say that that lumber number is actually lagging behind our our actual number a little bit. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. And then we can put, yeah, we can put water wheels here. We'll do that next time. Uh, so yeah, okay. Let's... I thought the ram was in the pile. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, why'd the ram die? Anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. Um, I like that. I like that method of dealing with the badgers. Um, I, that's gonna be what we do. That's the simplest method that I can think of. Uh, even simpler than hunting them because making bolts, making sure that they're skilled enough to do so, and then it takes some time to like chase down a badger and then shoot it, and then someone else has to come up and grab the badger and then haul it back down to butcher it. Necklace is cute. Thank you. This, um, this is, I mean, it comes from Goodwill, um, but I had a, uh, a goal going. Um, I need to set that up again. We had a community goal for more shinies, um, and I'm going to, I'm going to repeat it. Every time we met, we make a community goal, for more shinies, I'm going to add more shinies to my collection and I'm just going to slowly get more more junk and slowly get more gaudy throughout the streams uh, if everyone keeps meeting their community goals. Um, that's my plan. So I need I should set that up again and go I should go thrifting again. I should go thrifting again. We should all go thrifting again. Let's go thrifting. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, we're we're going to keep going along with this. Um, I might even continue this on Saturday. I've been doing like other games on Saturdays, but um, I might just I might just keep this going on Saturday because um, because this is cooking. I'm I'm excited to see how we like how this run turns out. We've laid a lot of the groundwork, but we kind of need just need to follow through on what we've set up already. Create a bunch of wealth. Um, find methods. You know, find what's most efficient for just cranking out a bunch of wealth. Um, and we'll we'll keep going. Uh, we'll set up some water wheels for reasons, I guess. Um, there's probably some some stuff we can mash. Um, we'll just keep making statues. We'll keep making instruments. We'll start encrusting things, and I think it's gonna start adding up. I think that's all we need to do. Um, so come by on Saturday, and we'll see how that how that all works out. Today's episode was brought to you by the beach. Go check it out before it's gone. And by you, pressing the buttons. It's September, it's all cheap right now. But button pressing is on a discount. Um, so I, I appreciate all those, all those buttons being pressed. Um, and yeah, I will see you on Saturday. Have a good rest of your week. And don't forget to stay kind.